Perry here in my kitchen here in Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador. We are GBL, the old church five acre homestead. I have everything all laid out here now on our island in our kitchen here in Gander to do a traditional Newfoundland and Labrador cob fry. We are going out into our outdoor kitchen very, very soon and we're going to be pan frying these cod fillets right here, these gorgeous cod fillets on our Blackstone Grill out in the outdoor kitchen and you're going to join me for that. But I want to show you the various ingredients that I have laid out here on this island this evening. We're going to start over here to the left. We have some pork fat. Uh, okay, salted pork fat that we're going to render out on the Blackstone Grill to get some lard, to get some grease that we're going to be pan frying the cod in. The cod will need to be taken out of these plastic cases and put it here on the uh, on the cutting board and I'm going to be cutting it into chunks. We also have some salt and pepper. We're going to salt and pepper the cod to taste. We have four eggs here that we're going to whisk into an egg wash for the cod pieces. We're going to put the cod pieces in the egg wash first and then we're going to be uh, rolling it or tossing it in this flour here before we put it onto the grill. Okay, so my next job now is to get these pieces of codfish all cut up into chunks and then I'm just going to lay them here on this parchment on this pan here. And of course, we have our jabby there as well. Miss Betty and I are going to be making a couple of top cocktails very, very soon using jabby as our main ingredient. And of course, we're going to be using some form of alcohol. We're going to be using vodka or whiskey or rum, not quite sure yet. And that's where you come in. We want you to help us decide on how to make our cocktail. You can tell us the ingredients. Of course, Javi is going to be there, but what are the other things going to be? You can help us by suggesting some ingredients for our Javi cocktail. That's coming up very, very soon on our YouTube channel. But now, let's get all of this straightened away. Okay, so as you can see, I have the cod fillets cut up into chunks here on this uh, parchment. And I'm going to be taking that out into the outdoor kitchen. And I'm going to be pan frying that on our Blackstone Grill. I've also cut up salted pork fat into smaller pieces. And that's going to render it quite easily on the Blackstone Grill as well. Uh, I have these cod tongs that I wanted to show you. These are actual, these are actual codfish tongs. Yes, indeed. And when I was a boy growing up in Fogo, uh, Fogo Island, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador, I cut out lots and lots of these tongues from codfish. It's a delicacy here in Newfoundland and Labrador. I guess it's an acquired taste, I suppose. Uh, so we're going to be pan frying some of those as well on our Blackstone Grill. So everything is all ready now. Uh, I'm going to be taking all of this stuff and going out into the outdoor kitchen. And that's where you're going to join me next. I'm inside the outdoor kitchen now, folks. And let's just take a look around. Here's our uh, three burner stove, and that's where I have all of the ingredients for our uh, codfish pan fry today. Here's our barbecue. It's in here in our outdoor kitchen as well. There's my Bradley smoker there that I use from time to time to, uh, to make, some, uh, make some jerky and uh, do a brisket, that kind of stuff. And for those of you not familiar with a Blackstone grill, here's our beautiful 36 inch Blackstone grill, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you this grill, and we're gonna get this one all set up now in a few seconds. Here's the cover, so I'm gonna take that off, okay, and just show you the grill. It has a flat black surface uh, for grilling on, similar to what you would find in a large commercial restaurant, perhaps. Okay, this one has four burners, and I'm just gonna turn these on high right now to get it all started. Here we go, we'll get four of them on. Uh, hit the igniter. And if you look down underneath, you should see some flame along the grill there. It's gonna take a few minutes for it to warm up, but not a lot. Okay, so we'll get this uh, this bad boy Blackstone grill all uh, all heated up. So we're gonna start by putting some of this, uh, this pork fat, this salted pork fat, uh, out onto our grill. We call them scrunchions here in Newfoundland and Labrador, but it's just salted pieces of pork. Just gonna spread that out. So that it renders out. Okay, it will add a nice taste and a nice flavor to the pan-fried cod too, folks. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, I just turned these on because I want to keep them warm, but I'm going to turn these two off again. The grill is warm. That's where we'll put the fish to once we fry it out from this end. 
Okay, so the pork fat is rendering out, adding a adding a layer of lard to the grill here. I just want to spread it out. I just want to spread it out some more here now. And then I'm going to get at those eggs right there and make my egg wash. And then I got to get at my flour. So let me get cracking with those eggs. Okay. One. Three and one more. One more egg. Okay, four eggs, folks, for to make our egg egg wash. Going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Turn down our grill some. Salt and pepper to our egg wash. Okay, like you, you know, put in uh, to taste. We like only a little bit, a uh, bit of pepper. Betty and I are not, uh, not spicy people, or, or, or we do not like much stuff in terms of hot or anything like that. So now I'm going to whisk this up to make our egg wash for those chunks of chunks of codfish. Let's go back and have another look at those pieces of pork. Look at that, it's doing really, really nice. The beauty of having a, such a large grill surface is that we can probably put all of our fish on here at one time. Okay, so here's our flour. Let's take the cover off of that. I'm just gonna put some in this dish here. Okay, and we're gonna use that to put our codfish in. Now, I'm gonna also add a little bit of salt to this. Okay, a little bit of salt to our flour. There we go, Gary, not a lot. And we'll also add a little bit of pepper here as well. Salt and pepper to our flour, and a little bit of salt and pepper to our egg wash. And now, I think we're good to go. Okay, I got some of the chunks of codfish here now. Like I said, it goes in the egg wash first. So just turn it over a couple of times in the egg wash, put it in the flour, make sure it gets completely coated in the flour. And then we're just gonna take it and just lay it up on our grill, just like that. Go back and do the same thing with all these other pieces. Egg wash, flour, and grill. And just keep repeating, folks. And like I said, I should be able to get all of these pieces of fish on this grill now at one time. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll do these couple of pieces here now. And when I come back in the next clip, I'll have this grill completely covered. Okay, it's blowing a hurricane outside, but it's nice and warm in here in the outdoor kitchen. This is the last piece of codfish, okay, making sure I'm co completely coating it in the egg wash and then in the flour and putting it on. There you go, let's have a look at that. Beautiful, beautiful chunks of very fresh, locally harvested from the waters around Newfoundland and Labrador. This codfish, folks, is going to be delicious. Now, I'm gonna turn this over and they're already starting to turn a nice golden brown. Hey, look at that one. Hey, delicious for sure. And that one. Okay, I'll get all of these turned over here now. Keep my eye on them. I don't want them to turn, uh, to, uh, uh, darken up too much. Okay. But they're going to be, they're going to be delish for sure. So when you take a look at that, folks, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that delicious? Absolutely wonderful looking. This look at nice and golden brown, these pieces of codfish are. Okay, I've already got one pot over there and one's done right nice. I'm gonna start taking some of these over. I'm just putting them up under end now, just trying to get the sides of them to brown up a nice bit. Okay, just look at that. Yeah, delicious looking. Okay, just gonna, to, like I said, try to stand a few of these up and get the, uh, the heads of them done. 
Very, very nice indeed. Okay, I think that one is done. I'm going to put that one over there as well. Okay, those two are over there all by themselves. We'll get a few more over there now. Okay, once we get these cooked under edges. Pan-fried codfish, as I said, is a Newfoundland and Labrador delicacy. It is a local food that has been harvested from the oceans around Newfoundland and Labrador for centuries, folks, for years. And it is a mainstay, a staple in the Newfoundland and Labrador diet. I'm get at these cod tongues now. I'm just going to put them in some, uh, some flour that has uh, salt and pepper added. I'm not going to put putting these in egg, wa egg wash. They just need to just go in a little bit of flour like that. Tossed, tossed around, coated in flour, and then added to the grill, okay? And as I said, in the house, these are actual cod tongs. Yes, indeed. And I've cut out hundreds, hundreds of these guys from codfish when I was a boy growing up in Fogo on Fogo Island. Many years ago now. Just to put things into perspective, when I was cutting out these cod tongues and selling them to uh, to tourists mostly that came to the island, uh, I was selling them for a dollar per pound. You know what they're being sold for now? They're being sold for eight and nine and ten dollars a pound. Okay, so a big, big difference, eh? From when I when I was uh, cutting these guys out and selling them, cod tongues. Okay, like I said, I got some salt and pepper uh, put in this uh, this fresh flour I got here now. And they're just gonna be put on the grill and, uh, and pan fried, just like the cod. Okay, until they're nice and golden brown as well. Lots of room there on that 36 inch Blackstone grill. Miss Betty and I, we love our grill. We actually have two. We have another one at the old church. We bought one a little while ago, a 28 inch one, a little smaller one. It has three burners instead of four but still a great, great griddle. Just a couple of more cod tongues here now, folks. And I'll have everything on the grill at one time. Absolutely. And I got a couple of pieces of cod there now that need to come off. Fresh cod fillets, cutting the chunks, and cod tongues for supper this evening here at GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. Going to be delicious. Okay, I'm just turning these cod tongues over, folks. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Codfish tongues. Yes, indeed. This is exactly what these are. And they are a traditional Newfoundland food, a staple in our diet. And they are actually very, very delicious. Beautiful chunks of codfish, all pan fried here on our grill. And I have just one burner on here now, folks. I have all three of those turned off. So just a one now finishing up these cod tongues. I've got to turn down on medium. I don't want it too high. I have just one, uh, one chunk, one chunk of codfish left. And I want to make sure that these tongues do really, really nicely too. Okay, just moving them over here underneath the only burner that we have left on now. And move over those little pieces of pork fat, scrunchions over around the cod tongs. That'll be going in the house too. And we'll certainly be eating those little pieces of pork with, with our cod tongs and with our codfish. That's for sure. Okay, one last piece there. That one's almost done. And those cod tongs are doing nicely as well. Hi folks, <laughs> Gary here. Finishing up these cod tongs now. What they're gonna be delicious for our summer this evening. I can guarantee you that. Miss Betty is in the house. She's getting some other things ready. Go with the uh, to go with the uh, the pan fried cod and these cod tongs, and I'm going to tell you we're going to have a delicious supper this evening. Pan fried codfish and cod tongs, pan fried on our Blackstone grill here in our outdoor kitchen, an outdoor kitchen that my son Devin and I made this past summer. Uh, we have about a dozen videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, this, and, and it shows the step-by-step -step process on how to build one of these outdoor kitchens. You should go check those videos out on our YouTube channel. Take a look at them. And maybe it might inspire you 
to build your own, your very own outdoor kitchen. A great spot. It's blown again outside today, but look where I am, inside the outdoor kitchen. It's warm here, and there's no wind. It's great. Great place to be on a windy, rainy old day, cooking codfish and cod tongues on the grill. What? These cod tongues are done now, folks, so I'm just going to take them off. Just look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? A nice golden brown color. That's just the way they're supposed to be. I'm going to put the cod tongues on there now. Just lay them on that sheet. Okay. Taking them off the grill. Then put up there on the tray. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing. I'm gonna get these chunks of codfish now, and I'm just gonna lay them on that pan also. Here you go. All right, so when it comes back, I'll have all that put on the pan. All right, I have all the cod tongues, and I have all of the uh, pan-fried cod chunks, uh, cod fillet, put here on this pan. I'm gonna take that inside now. I have my Blackstone grill all turned off. I'll come out in about an hour's time and I'll clean up this grill and I'll put it away for next time. So let's go inside and get ready for supper. All right, here's our delicious, delicious supper, folks. We have the pan-fried cod and some cod tongues. We have some Uncle Ben's rice and we also have some broccoli here, some broccoli spears. Now, I like cheddar chives and bacon from Epicur put on my broccoli. So I'm gonna sprinkle that, a little bit of that over my broccoli. And Miss Betty made some homemade tartar sauce. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on each piece of my codfish. Look at that. Now, now that's a great, beautiful meal this evening, folks. There you go. We're gonna enjoy our supper this evening here at GBL, the old church, Five Acre Olmstead. Thanks for watching.